Hey guys, it's Brandy Janae. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today. In today's video, I am going to be very quickly doing my second paycheck in September's cash stuffing and then continuing on with my regularly scheduled Battle of the Boxes. So if you're interested in seeing this, please be sure to stay tuned. Okay, for this quote for today, September 15th, it says, leave an extra 10% tip for your waitress with a note this month. Give extra and give big for no reason and watch how it blesses you more than them. I love that because giving is definitely one of my favorite things to do. So um, I will for sure be doing this at some point this week or this month. I don't know, um, depending on when I, you know, actually go outside and have the opportunity to tip someone. So I do have my wallet here, so we're going to start there, and it is mostly empty. <laughs> um, I do have, what's this, a couple dollars in rollover, so four. I'm actually going to put these four dollars in where I keep my like ding, ding, ding money for finish challenges because that is getting low. Um beauty oh and this is a super cute louis vuitton binder that i did get on fashion file just in case you are new here this is like my first big girl authentic lv purchase and it was used obviously <laughs> but i'm super excited about it and i still absolutely adore it and it is perfect for my wallet so for beauty i am going to add 50 70 five six seven and eight for uh hair oh and i forgot to mention this is i think 301 totally or no 401 i think totally forgot to count it but that's okay <laughs> all right so that is for hair and then i need 45 six seven and eight for nails and my nail tech is totally in Vietnam right now visiting family so hopefully she will be returning by the time I need to get my nails done again although the other girl did a really good job I just you know you just like your person oh I'm supposed to be taking this out because I don't actually have gas anymore <laughs> And my charging is attached to my debit card. So I just kind of, you know, keep that money in there anymore. I love this envelope though. So I may repurpose it for something else. Um, but anyway, food is going to get 60. All right. So we will pop that in there. Miscellaneous is going to get... 50, 20, 40, 50, and then giving is going to get five. We keep having things at like work where, you know, different people um, have lost loved ones or anniversaries or weddings or whatever. So my giving envelope <laughs> seems to be going a lot faster lately, which is okay. That's the point. All right, so that is the wallet done -zo. All right, then we have our monthly binder. And these are all challenges that can be found on my Etsy shop. So let's color out the other $50 here. And each one of these icons is worth $10 to get $100 per month. So this is another thing that I am doing in order to save the $5,000 by the end of the year. Not really sure if I'll reach it, but I am going to do my best. And if I don't meet the goal this year, then I will definitely work on it again for next year. And that's okay. <laughs> I'm trying it, so we'll see. Um, it'll definitely be more than I saved last year, so bonus. All right, so that one is done. And then last but not least, 
we have our 50 envelopes, which I am adding additional money to. So I have number 34 and number 17. And in number 34, I am going, oh, let's do 17 first because it's here. I'm going to add 20 because I do round so that I don't have any ones. And then for 34, we are going to add 40. I could have done 35, but eh. let's just, you know, I figure the more I put into this extra, then the closer I'll be to the goal. So, you know, I just want to keep rounding. So I'll probably do probably 40 for all of these, honestly, and then do 30 for all of the 20s is what I'm thinking. Um, but if you were playing this, so as you can see, I'm going from the back to the front. So if you were playing this like, you know, with the traditional money, then every number would equal 51. So like next we have 33 and 18, which equals 51. So if you just kind of budget 51 every single time, you will be able to complete this whole tracker within a reasonable, reasonable amount of time versus how I did it last year where I may have had a 49 and a 50 left. And it's like, dude, I don't want to save. <laughs> $99, like my budget won't allow that. So this way I'm able to consistently stuff two envelopes at a time. And that has been amazing. Um, I think though, I think if I'm not mistaken, because I don't know how many weeks this is left, but if I'm not mistaken, I may have to do a couple extra of these just so that I have it. Cause I would like to have it finished by, you know, obviously before the end of, end of December. So I don't remember if I would have this finished in time or not, but I think I will, but I don't know. If not though, then I will get some extra money and complete it before January because I do want to have that done. All right, so that is that. Let me make sure I'm still filming because real life problems. Okay, great. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put my budget book to the side. This is what I use to look at to make sure that I have everything correct because it's hard out here for this lady. All right, let me grab my binders for my boxes. And it's like a whole reset over here. We need our cards. And this is for the mall. And I do have the money available. Let me get this put back out. I totally had all this set up before I started filming only to remember that I had to do my wallet. So I had to take everything back apart. Okay, there we go. All right. So in here, we are going to start with this challenge from um, Donna, by, Donna Powered by Creativity. Let me move this out the way so I have a little bit more space. Come on, girl. Ooh. I can't move with these nails on. Okay. All right, let me move that out the way. Y'all know who I am. <laughs> All right, so yeah, this is from Donna, Powered by Creativity. And let's roll. Number two. So here. Number six. Oh, poop. One. I hope everybody gets something today. Two. Oh, okay. <laughs> Two. Five goes into abundance. Sweet. Four is self care. Let's go, number three. For self care number three. Ah, all right. Number one. So give generously gets four dollars today. And I did cash condense this recently, but I'm gonna have to do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six goes into holiday. Nothing went into debt. Boo. One, two, three, four goes into self care. Two goes into abundance and two goes into old poop and I still haven't decided where the old poop fund is going to go um, obviously the rest of these are you know what they are <laughs> I don't know about that one yet 
All right, so there is that. And then I do have $60 to play with for my boxes today. So that is going to go back here. I just keep all the box money together and then play with prop money, which is what you see over here. So that's done, Zo. All right, let's make sure, because, yeah, math. Um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And these super cute donut ones are from Budgets and Chaos, which will be linked in my description box below. 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, and 44, 45, 6, 7, 8, 9, 51, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 60. All right. Perfect. All right, in the number one spot, we have the coffee binder today. So let's go ahead and pull this card. Indonesia, which is the last one for this particular challenge. Yay! All right, so now, what's that, eight? So five. Uh, do I have two in here? Oh, let me see. Yes, we're gonna put that back. Oh wait, no, no, never mind. <laughs> Five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, yeah, I'll condense this later. All right, so I'm going to put this one in the front and put this one in the back. And now we are ready to start the scratch off portion of the coffee challenge. So all of these are going to get reshuffled to start over, which is exciting. All right, and then when I finish these trackers, then I will start doing the ding, ding, ding um, challenge. And then these will get replaced with, I did remember this time, <laughs> to print off the new ones from Maria. Um, she gifted these to me because she is amazing. So I do have these cards here, her new coffee set. Um, and I just, I'm gonna put all of them in there so they will replace these. So as these finish, then I'll just switch them over. And then they also come with the cards. So, so exciting. As Soon as I finish this round, then I will switch everything over to this round. So yay for that. All right, so coffee binder. In the number two spot today, we have the donut binder and this is from my shop. So let's pick a donut card. Oh man, this is one of those uh, extra money ones because it has a bite out of it. So you got hungry times two. So let's roll two. Woohoo! <laughs> So two times two is four, which is not so, so bad. Two and four. Oh, we'll put these two back and grab a five. Okay. So yeah, that's not too bad. All right. Then in the number three spot, we have the mall. And for this challenge today, we are going to go to, and I think for the mall, I'm gonna just stay in the one store because it's this is a lot, you guys. <laughs> Oops, we're gonna go with the electronics store for today. Um, yeah, so anytime I go to the mall today, we're just going to stick in the electronic store because it's, it's a lot, you guys, to, there's so many cards and this game is awesome, but it's definitely meant to be played, you know, as a standalone game and not as like how I'm doing it. 
um, because there are so many cards and so many components to go through. So yeah, we're just gonna stick with the electronic store. I should actually just do like one store at a time. Um, but eventually, you know, I'll probably just play this by itself. So that's the only reason why I have not started doing that. Um, okay, so the electronic store, here are the cards. Okay, and we got a game controller for $1. And then let's roll to see if we get a discount. We do not. <laughs> so we, oh, we do need to pay taxes though. So $3 in taxes. Okay. And I'm going to just put these up here to the side. Okay, so $4 total in the electronics store today. So let's write that on my receipt. And two and four. All right. So that's good. All right, and this, I don't think I mentioned, is from Prop Budgets. So definitely go check her out. I will leave her YouTube page in the description box. I don't link the Etsy shops because um, as an Etsy seller, we do receive um, like discounts if you guys purchase from us directly. So that's the reason why I don't leave the shops because I would ra rather you use their actual link so that, you know, the shop can receive the discount. So I do per do put down their shop name if they are not a YouTube person, but if they are a YouTube person, then I just link their channel. Um, but yes, it is better for you to shop directly with the Etsy sellers link versus just going there because then we receive some money back on like all of the fees that Etsy charges. So, all right. And then I have this calendar box last but not least, and this will be in the number four spot. And this is from I will always save. I do call it the monthly box. So if you hear me say that, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, uh, ooh, roll a dice, double it. Where would that be? Oh, in July, okay. So, roll a dice, five, gosh, <laughs> Five and 10. And we're actually going to put this in the bank part and then just take a 10. That way I don't have to do that later. All right, so. 10 for this one. I kind of wish these were just boxes instead of like the envelopes so I could write the number directly inside the box, but that's okay. All right. All right, guys. And that is it for our first run through. So now we will roll the dice to see which one we were picking. We do not have a five, so we're going to, oh, my bad, wrong dice. Four, okay, so the calendar box again. Fourth of July, that is my favorite holiday. Woo, $11, five, 10, 11, 11. Mm. And I am gonna trade this money with the bank again. All right, 11, I wanted to keep the bank money up here this time so I didn't have to like reach for it. <laughs> All right, and then we can actually trade these two tens for a 20. All right, goodness. All right, let's roll again. Oh my, all right, calendar box. <laughs> You're taking all the money today. Um, the squirrel. Okay, that's in September. Roll a dice. Five. So two, four, and five. I'm gonna trade this for five. 
All right, so $5 for the little squirrel. All right, let's roll again. One, all right, coffee box, yay! Mm, we do not have that much money left, friends. Jamaica. Oh, good. These are no low numbers because they only save 25. So the numbers won't be too scary. Uh, let's just start on the top. All right, we got a five. And I forgot that I used, I should not have used these silver scratch-offs because I hate them. Um, two, four, and five, which I'm going to trade again for a... All right. Oh gosh, I hate these scratchers. They don't, well, they scratch fine, but they don't clean up very well. So I stopped using them in my shop but I think because I was like, oh, well, I don't want to waste my other ones <laughs> for just me. Um, but that's okay. Anyway, so that one is done. Let's roll again. Three, which is the mall. So we are back in the electronics store. Okay, we got some headphones. And headphone taxes oh, are going to be woohoo zero dollars in taxes. I don't need to worry about a sale because it's only a dollar, so we're not even going to try to get the sale today. All right, so that is one dollar here. I didn't have any. Oh, I do have an IOU. <laughs> I just thought about that. Like, I wonder if I have any IOUs. I totally do. So let's put this in here. Um, hold on. Two, four, five. Oh my gosh, I have an IOU. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know what just made me think about that. Okay, so that one's done. Now let me go back here to this donut box and see how much I just saw my clip. That's what made me think about it. I owe you $4. Okay, that's not too bad. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so y'all, we got to pay our debt. I don't think I shouldn't have even started playing until I paid. That's okay. All right, so that's done. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, we can do one more roll. I think. Um, blank means it's my choice, so we are going to go back to the coffee box because <laughs> this feels like the safest choice. Oh, I need that. Vietnam, even though I hate the scratch-offs, is the safest choice. Okay, we'll start at the top again. Oh, Maria. <laughs> Woo, $10. She caught me slipping with this one, y'all. Mm. All right, Maria. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> I killed the pig. Oh, Lord, help me. Oh, Lord, help him say a prayer for the pig. Mm, mm, mm. He always getting decapitated. Okay, $10. Oh, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yo. Yo. <gasps> 
Okay, so, well, we're done. So now, instead of the $4 IOU, grab my handy dandy eraser, even though I could just write on the other side, I wanna show you that that actually works. <laughs> now we have a $2 IOU here in Vietnam. And these are still available in my shop. So if you have, this envelope is kind of thick, but that's okay, we'll just sit it there. I'll see it from the top. Um, yeah, so if you are interested in getting those, definitely go and pick them up. You guys, that's it, I'm out of monies. Out of monies. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so. And hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. You guys are amazing. Be safe, be kind, or be quiet, and be well, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.